Welcome back to Weekends. I'm Anna Kasparian, and uh, let's talk about some salt. All right, let's sprinkle <laughs> some salt into this uh, show. So look, um, there are very few things to like about the Trump administration. Um, in fact, I would argue that the only tiny, tiny silver lining that I see is the way Donald Trump reacts to members of his own party who are not adequately loyal to what he wants, what he needs, and the crimes he wants to commit. One of those people was Jeff Sessions early on in Trump's, uh, you know, tenure. And Sessions thought, you know, I got to play by the rules. I'm going to go ahead and recuse myself in this Russia investigation. And that made Trump furious because he wants to be surrounded by lackeys. He wants to be surrounded by people who carry out whatever Trump wants to carry out. And so Trump's been attacking Jeff Sessions over and over again. And maybe this makes me a bad person, but I have personally enjoyed watching these moments in the Trump presidency because for all of the strong man, tough guy persona that you know the right wing politicians have, it's so easy for Trump to just go in there and like, I don't know, for lack of a better word, unman them. And that's what you're about to see. In if this you're a bad clip. person for liking that, Anna, then I'm an awful person. <laughs> well, OK, amazing. then we're bad people together. Yeah, it's it hilarious. is. Amazing. Like this, yes. This next clip, if you don't appreciate how awesome this next clip is, then I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Um, here is Jeff Sessions getting interviewed by Fox News. He goes on to say that you were a disaster. What do you say to that, sir? <laughs> Well, I did what I had to do. Uh, I was appointed his attorney general. I was honored to take that office. He was honest. Cut. Oh, I love that so cut. much. I love it so much. Yeah, she's the cock. And I remember uh, at CPAC a couple of years ago, Trump did a. Okay, I always tell this story. I have to tell it again. Bef a couple of months prior to this speech, I think this is in 2017, maybe 2018. Someone like Bob Woodward had put out some dumb book about, you know, like the gossip inside the White House. And apparently Trump called uh, uh, Sessions, in Trump's words, as quoted by Woodward, a retarded Southerner. And yep, Trump that. got out on Twitter, I'm sure because he had anxiety because he's pretty popular in the South, and said, I never said that never called him, quote unquote, blah, blah, you know, that a retarded Southerner never said that being from the South is great. Like two exclamation points. It was a, it was a very good tweet. And a couple months later, he's at CPAC and he's doing impressions. And all of a sudden he just go, he just does his, his actual impression of Jeff Sessions is just, I'll recuse myself. No, it's <laughs> just, amazing. It, and it's amazing. like a couple of months after violently, like I would never say that. He did the most like <laughs> howdy oh doody impression I have ever heard in my life. No, but like what I okay, so it's it's entertaining to watch it because. Uh, by all intents and purposes, Jeff Sessions is a he's a horrible person who make no mistake carried out the vast majority of what Donald Trump wanted. And, and to be specific, uh, one of the most heinous uh, Trump administration policies was, and it currently is, putting innocent people in cages at the border. I mean, just horrific. And Jeff Sessions was giddy about being able to implement uh, that zero tolerance policy at the border, even as people were fleeing violence in their own countries, looking for refuge here in the United States. These are the asylum seekers, right? So. That's part of the reason why I laugh at the abuse that people like Jeff Sessions have to deal with in in trying to maintain their own political power, because that's what this is really about, right? These are just loathsome politicians who really don't have any self-respect. Like they're willing to put self-respect on the back burner in their quest for power. And what Jeff Sessions wants right now is his Senate seat. He wants to win back his Senate seat, which he gave up to work for Donald Trump. And in order to win that Senate seat, unfortunate for him, he needs to appeal 
to Republican voters, the vast majority of whom love Donald Trump. Like Donald Trump's approval rating among Republican voters is in the mid 90s. It's crazy. So Jeff Sessions has to go on television and deal with those types of questions, deal with that type of abuse <laughs> from Donald Trump and not fight back at all. He has to like have that ridiculous smile on his face and talk about how like he's, you know, he was a great, he was a great water boy for Donald Trump. He did everything Donald Trump needed him to do. <laughs> like, it's incredible. And I will say in my own words, it's a very dim-witted smile. You know. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I mean, look, so yeah, he got rid of, he got rid of, I mean, there was minus, you know, slight uh, progress in terms of using the Justice Department uh, to investigate policing and racism and police brutality across the country, reversed by Sessions. Jeff Sessions doesn't get a federal judge appointment, judicial appointment in the 80s. In the Reagan 1980s, this guy had too much of a racism problem to get that appointment. He's Trump's attorney general. I also would say real quick, though, too, that there's this big... I, you know, if somebody says, hey, I just genuinely don't think Trump is funny, whatever. I, you know, I guess there's some subjectivity to comedy. Sure. Although I'm skeptical. But there is a big difference inside. Usually it's a difference between liberals and the left, but of people who just are constantly freaking out about Trump, cannot see when he's actually being hysterical. And people who obviously understand that Trump is just this absolutely grotesque, ridiculous figure. That's actually partially what makes him so funny is that all of these people have invested so much I, I, you know, no ideas in him, like bringing back being a real man, even as he is much more analogous to like a 1990s, like coffee host and like on some like New York public access show, like making bitchy comments about like, I saw a funny thing happen to me on the way to the forum. And those girls are looking fat. Like he just, he has way more of that vibe. Like he honestly, and I, my grandmother is an infinitely better person than Donald Trump, but some of the inflections are like a one-to-one -one between like a Long Island Yenta. So there is something hysterical about that. And my point is, is like, if you think that Trump is funny and you get how he's funny, way better chance you can beat him. If running around 100%. and just like freaking out about Trump worked, then we would be cruising to a Hillary Clinton re-election, but we're not. So people have to, at the very least, again, dispassionately understand his appeal, uh, which is a, obviously a really low and disgusting one, but it's also super funny. Yeah, well, and one final point on that, because I think you're right. Um, you know, being outraged by what he's tweeting has not yielded any results uh, that we've wanted. But you have to kind of attack the persona that his supporters find appealing. And, and it's like this tough guy persona that Donald Trump has. But when you really like take a look at him objectively, Donald Trump is a little bitch. Like he does nothing more than cry all day long about how the media is unfair to me. He's not an alpha male at all, but his voters think he is. So I think that we actually would do better in messaging how pathetic and weak he is, like laughing at him and pointing out his weaknesses incessantly, I would argue, is more effective than constantly being outraged by what he's putting on Twitter, because the truth is he wants you to be outraged by what he's putting out on Twitter. That's worked for him. I think it's been part of his, honestly, his electoral strategy. So don't give in to that. I think it's much more effective to just call him out for the incredibly weak child that he really is. And the fact that he doesn't look at a presidential at all and it's embarrassing and sad.